everyone welcome back to my channel today I wanted to do a video on how I'm setting up my teacher planner for school year 2017 to 18 it's so crazy that we're already thinking about next school year and my summer just started um, but I this year I decided to go with the happy planner teacher planner and this is the first year I've decided to do this in years past I actually made my own. I printed my own and I bound it my own because there were certain pages that I just really felt I needed. I felt it was more customizable. Uh, some of the, the planners that are coil bound aren't customizable unless I use coil clips and that was just really inconvenient with the amount of pages that I need to add. Uh, but with the disc system and I have the punch, I just don't have the big size punch, but I do have the original, which should still work. Um, I'll still be able to customize and add pages to this planner. And so that's why I felt like with it being on sale, I figured it was a good time to try. And if I don't like it, I can always go back to printing my own. Um, before I go through the happy planner, I'm gonna go through my, what I used this year for school year 2016, 2017, just so you can kind of see my system and how I do this. I am a high school math teacher, and so a lot of the planners out there are very much geared towards elementary school teachers, and it drives me a little nuts. <laughs> so hopefully I can hope you find a system that works for you if you are a high school, math, uh, high school teacher or math teacher. Um, I usually have a cover nicely printed, but I guess this past year it just, it was a hectic year and so it was actually a blank page. So I decided to throw in the lines of my department, um, the courses that my, my teachers are teaching because I am the department head. Um, I have been for a couple of years, so this gave me a good idea of when people are off what classes they're teaching and when they're teaching it so that we can have collaboration. And then I printed all my monthlies. So I created this layout. Kind of, I kind of followed a sample I, I saw on Pinterest that I, I, I kind of liked. And I've had this for the last couple of years. Um, but I bought really nice paper. I think it's 32 pound paper and it's, it's so smooth and it prints really nicely. Laser color printer. And so once the school year starts, so I fill it in with all my lessons. It's obviously well used because I have all of my, what, I, what I'm what i teaching, what lessons I'm doing, and all my meetings are color coded. So that's my system. Like department meetings were always in green, data teams was always in blue, um, and whatnot. So some washi tape. I also was able to pre-print it so I could shade out the days that I knew that we weren't gonna have school. So that's my system there. Some months are more hectic than others. All right, so I put all my monthlies together because I think that worked for me better at that time. And then I went into my weekly. Uh, so the previous year I did one whole spread for one week, which is how most planners do. But this past year I did one side for one week. So I did more of like a horizontal. Now, I was originally supposed to teach three classes last year, this past school year, um, but one of them got canceled at the last minute and I had already printed my, my planner. So it was originally supposed to be Algebra 2, Algebra 2 Honors, and then a Trig Pre-Calc class. But I had to change my meetings and to do, after a while I stopped, I stopped relabeling them, but um, Trig Pre-Calculus and meetings to do kind of became separate columns in that sense. Um, but this is like my daily. And we have even odds on four days and then Monday is always all the classes. So a lot of times I would just repeat the lesson for my classes. So there was a lot of white space still in there. You can kind of see, and I also like pre-printed some of those dates, tried to use some stickers on some days and some days I could just didn't have time. So, and then same thing for like, if it was finals week, I could block out certain classes. And so I had it all pre-printed. I just didn't do the dates. I figured, you know, that wasn't as important to me. So some weeks are fully filled in. Some I just went sticker crazy. Um, and others are definitely, I did try to organize myself so I knew what we were trying to do for the week. So it definitely helped me um, figure out what I liked and what I didn't like. And then I have some pages in the back of like my 
quarter at a glance planning and what I've done in previous years so I could reference back like oh this lesson should be on a long day this lesson should be on a short day and then I added grid paper to the back which I didn't really use I kept forgetting it was there I used it at the end but that's my system for this past year so it worked for me and it was nice that it was all on one page now in terms of the happy planner I, first of all, I got the box kit that had this this cover on it. Um, teachers have class. It's in a hot pink. It's really cute. Matches the rings. But I decided for it to last me the whole year, you can kind of tell that this gets really beat up. And, well, this is a really nice cover. So I, I do want it to sort of last a little bit longer. So I did get the hard cover, the snap-in cover. Uh, it was also on sale. I do believe I paid... A little less than $20 for the box kit and then about $15 for the hardcover which isn't so bad I mean I could always use the cover again on another planner if it lasts through the year getting dumped in my book bag but this is my one of my school colors is red red black and white so it matches the pink uh, it's a highlight <laughs> I haven't filled in this page yet I'm debating if I should and then I never understood the substitute page because who in their right mind is gonna give their planner to the substitute? Now, the nice thing about the Happy Planner is the page does rip out. So, I mean, if I really wanted it for the substitute, I would, I could do that. But because this is gonna be my 16th year of teaching, I already have my handouts to give the sub uh, whenever I need it. So, um, I probably will have to either leave this blank or find another use for it. Um, it's nice to have a year at a glance, but I don't know if I'm going to use this as much. Although I do tend to print out the actual school year calendar for for the official school calendar, and maybe I'll just use this instead. All right, and then you have the August. I'm kind of excited to use this page. Maybe it'll help me focus for the month as a teacher. Um, I do have about 120 to 150 students on any given year, depending on what classes I'm teaching. So I'm wondering if I actually will use student birthdays. I don't normally keep track of that because that's a lot of students to keep track of. And I don't really recognize birthdays because in high school, it's kind of hard to keep track of sometimes. <laughs> but some of the events and the focus and goals, that'll help me focus as a teacher. All right, so I started setting this up and this is the first year in a long time that um, my school district is starting in August. Normally the students will start in August, but the teachers will start in July. But yay, teachers go back to school August 1st, which is great because my birthday is August 2nd. Woohoo! I don't have to teach. Last year, the first day of school was on my birthday where I had to actually teach students. So it was kind of nice that um, my birthday is not actually during the teaching school year. So I started using filling in some of the stickers from the teacher pack that was just released which is this one the green one and I started using sorry let me flip to this so some of them had like all the breaks were listed here open house was here I'm glad I have a graduation sticker because I was missing one last year picture day will come in handy I wish they had some assembly ones though because we have a lot of assemblies in high school and then I also started oh and then I really like the fact that I have substitute stickers <laughs> it'll make it look cute even though it's so hard to plan for um, but the one I really like to use is all the holidays so that's really nice that I'll get to use that. Now, in Hawaii, we do have some other special holidays, like states have their own holidays. So I actually ended up making some of my own stickers, which at first I didn't want to print or cut the right way, So, but luckily I got it to work. So we have our Statehood Admissions Day when Hawaii became a state. And then I have, and I used some of the teacher pack stickers. And then it came with one fall break but I needed it for the whole week. I could have used washi tape, but I figured I'd make my own too. Just just testing out my my silhouette. And then like curriculum fair, I added that in for myself, but I used some of the other stickers from the pack. I was debating if I should save some of the stickers for my actual planner, but my regular planner, but oh well. Winter break. And 
weekends, spring break. We have Kuhio Day in March, so it's kind of nice. It's at the end of spring break, so it extends it a little bit. And we have a three-day week because of Good Friday. And then that's about it for there. And then you have June, which summer break is the whole summer, so I didn't feel I needed like I needed all those stickers for that. All right, so that's how I'm kind of organizing my month at a month at a glance. Normally I'll write out the main lesson of what I'm teaching for, let's say I'm teaching Algebra 2. Um, on the first day of school for everyone, I probably, you know, go over syllabus, pass out textbooks to a certain my certain classes, um, go over procedures, and then Algebra 2, what's the first lesson? And then Trig Precalc, what's the first lesson? And then as the days go on, certain days might be extended and then I can write that in or if there's major quizzes going on there. Now in terms of the daily or the weekly, I should say, um, I always struggled with what to do with this because I am a high school teacher and a lot of times I notice that here we have Monday going all the way across and I know that Erin Condren is very much like this too. So Monday would be the this whole horizontal line and that's great for elementary because you could do like maybe you do reading in the morning and then you do some centers or stations and then you do some math and then you have like I don't know science and then after after lunch maybe you have an art activity or something like that and that way you could how whatever your structure for the day is that's what you would put there but I am a math teacher so I teach let's say in a seven period day I would teach three algebra twos two honors and maybe one trig that's I think my schedule for next year so all my algebra twos are pretty much going to be the exact same thing I'm not going to write it like three different times I would just maybe write it like that or I could do period one period two period three period four period five period six period seven but how would that help me? Because maybe periods one and two would be exactly the same. And then I'd just be writing the same thing over and over again. So what I did in my planner from last year, as you kind of maybe saw, let's see, could we do like something like this. So like my algebra two would be doing this on this day. And then algebra two would be doing this. And then my honors class might do an extra extra section of something and so I could put that in there. Um, even my algebra and honors, uh, they're very similar so I don't always write the, the same thing for both. Um, luckily I only had those two classes this past year and so a lot of times I'm not repeating myself so I don't need to write it three times if I have three of the same classes. So what I think I decided I was going to do with this planner because I don't want to waste it is I would probably make one column like my algebra 2 class just in general, Algebra 2. And then my second column might be my Algebra 2 Honors. And then my third would be my Trig Pre-Calc. Kind of like how I originally set it up for last year. With, oops, when I didn't cover it up. <laughs> I covered it up a lot, but like this one, Algebra 2, Algebra 2 Honors, Trig Pre-Calc. I'll probably do that again. And then on this side, because it's a full page of just lines, I did have a, my own separate notebook as a department head, all the meetings I had to go to. So I'm probably going to make one of these columns a to-do list because you just have a running to-do list throughout the, the week. Grade quiz one, make quiz two, grade homework number five, you know, all of, like it's just ongoing. And I don't want to have to keep writing the same to-dos every single day. So it's just a running to-do, like, kind of like a bullet journal. I'm not sure if I would need one column or two columns for that. And then the last two columns, or maybe the last three if I only use one to-do list column, is this could be my notes for all the meetings that I have to go to, whether it's a department meeting or it's um, a department head meeting where we talk about all these different various things. And then that way I can just only carry one book with me to my meetings and then I don't have to you know flip into my little notebook of notes of all the things that I have to follow up on this way it's kind of like goes kind of like a bullet journal with my to do's but also items that need to get done for department or school-wide initiatives so I'm kind of thinking that um, I'm wondering though where I can put my meeting so 
certain days have meetings. I have a mentor meeting on, let's say, Tuesday, and then I'll have a department meeting on Wednesday, and then I'll have a faculty meeting on Friday. And so I'm wondering if I should put that here on these, like underneath the dates, which I did print out my own stickers because I was debating if I should fill it in with my, my pen. Like you go 7 slash 31 for July 31st, but I think it just looks a lot nicer with it pre-printed. I don't know, what do you think? Leave your comments in, this, in the comments below. Leave your ideas and whatnot. And then what I did was, so I printed, and then I apparently forgot August 11th. <laughs> Go figure. And I don't know if I should fill in the week numbers. I'm still debating on that. Um, for the days where we don't have school, I printed out these kind of rectangles to fill the space because I know we're not going to have school there. So we have no school on this day. And I was playing around with it and I got it to be almost pretty much the exact bright sizes. The corners are a little bit off, but it doesn't bother me. It, the outline still shows, which is really nice because my you can see my stickers don't really have a border. And so it fits within the border and it shows. So I'm really excited about that. So I printed them out for my planner. I do believe it was like five and a half inches this way and then 1.813 this way, something like that, if you're interested in, in the sizing of that. And then here's some stickers that I made for the dates. And then more stickers to fill in. I'm still debating. I didn't stick these in yet because I'm like, well, what if I change my mind on the colors? I tried to match the colors with the, the weekly colors that are in the planner. So as you can see, like, for October. October is purple, so I did PSA testing where all of our 10th graders take the PSAT. And then I do believe it's going to be on a Wednesday, so I was like, oh, okay, well it matches purple. So maybe I'll probably stick that in there, but I just wanted to keep it on the side for now, just in case I change my mind. I can always change the color and recut it, so it's kind of nice. So. I'm um, debate so as a math teacher, a high school math teacher, or basically a secondary teacher, I'm wondering what you guys think about this plan. So again, probably one of my courses for one column, second course, third course, although my Alge 2 and Honors Alge 2 are almost pretty much exactly the same. So I could always just do one column for that, my trig pre-calc in another column, and I'd probably put stickers for the top part. And then I could put my meetings here or I could put my third course either way. And then my to-dos and then meeting notes all on this side. I just have to ignore the borders around, the black borders around each box. I was debating about doing that. I did see some people modify the Erin Condren teacher planner to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then there are subjects this way. But I feel like that's still a little disjointed. So at least this way for me as a high school teacher, all my subjects and lessons and agendas for the day would all be on this side. And then all of my teacher stuff in terms of like what I need to do um, outside of class, whether it's a to-do at home or to do with my department, would all be on this side. So that's the plan for this coming year. Um, unless I decide that it's not working, I'll just go back to my old way of planning. But I'm willing to give it a try and see how it works. And I'm really excited. It's, I love these dividers, they're so pretty. And I, I'm hoping it'll help that they have the tabs and I can just flip to the month and then the month is right with the weekly because that's how it was different than how I was planning this past year with all my months together. And then for this last part, so you do have notes at the end of every month, I do believe. Oh no, just this last one is the only one with notes. Um, but in terms of the checklist, I mean, I have 150 students. So I'm probably going to have to, I was thinking about, I'm not going to use this as attendance or anything because I only have five sheets pretty much. So I'm, I might have to get more. So we'll see about that. But we're going to, I'm going to put all my students' names and every time we have study hall, I'm going to put all the dates of the study halls and I'll check off who comes when. I can have my TAs do that. For me, they can check off, oh, this student came on this day and this day. That way, when I follow up with parents, like, oh, my, my child 
is failing, what are you doing to help them? Because sometimes I get those kind of conversations and say, well, your child hasn't come in at study hall for like two months. Maybe they should start coming again. And then at least that way I have that documented proof. And then it came with this pocket. I did buy these dashboards, which are super cute. Um, I'll probably put one in my current week. This one is this one. Teachers change the world one child at a time. I totally needed this mantra this past year because it was just a really rough year. But this will mark my, my study hall checklist. And so, we're gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna use these ones for just yet. And then in this teacher pack, it also came with three sets of stickers. I already put in my grades due stickers and some no schools, but these are super cute. This one matches the cover. All right, isn't it pretty? And they're a little bit smaller than the actual teacher pack. It's a little bit, but almost the same size. So that's gonna go, actually, I'm gonna put this in here. Oh. And it also came with sticky notes, which I don't know, I'm not a big sticky note person. Um, if anything, I always use whiteout, which I know makes it look messy, but my planners are well used and it doesn't bother me, so. But maybe I'll use these, maybe I can make good use of that. The other thing I also have is last year's teacher, teacher, teacher sticker pack. So I still have a bunch of these, which will come in handy because now it'll match perfect in terms of some of the square stickers. And then they also had some of these, which will kind of help in terms of making up for some things like field trip. I don't, I didn't see a lot of field trip stickers, but assemblies because we were, we're missing, excuse me, if you can see um, the other pack didn't have any assembly stickers. And I'm really glad they got rid of the minimum stickers in the new pack because I have no idea what a minimum day is. I guess that's like early release, but yep. So I'm super excited to use this planner uh, and the sticker pack and the hardcover that I bought in it to protect it. So I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. Leave your comments down below and hey, even share with me what you guys are doing in your classroom. If this helped you, that's great. If not, uh, I hope I at least gave you some ideas. But thanks again for watching. Uh, hit the like button if you want and hit subscribe if you want to see more. All right, thanks for watching.